<laughs> happy new year happy 2020 welcome to our very first launch of 2020 you guys we have um this is how this is we'll just kind of re we'll, we'll kind of recap instagram can you, and instagram's looking good yes i can't see instagram okay i missed you guys we missed you guys this might be a little rough might be a little bumpy we've had um what two months off from doing lives so just bear with me but welcome um we this is how this is going to work so those of you who haven't been with us um through kind of this whole transition to spring and moving in from you know the new year and out of winter and into spring i um i don't like to get dressed in january <laughs> i guess that's really what it is um i like to be comfortable I don't know if it's just because I feel like maybe I just ate crap through the holidays and then you get into 2020 and I'm like detoxing and you know, drinking my green drinks and all that kind of stuff. So I tend to wear just a lot of comfort, comfort clothes, athleisure, things like that. So that's kind of what we design for. And in addition, like a lot of you are freezing and buried in snow. And then here we are in Texas. We had like, it was like 82 degrees two days ago and today is rainy, cold and like 50. So weather can be weird. And so anyway, we're going to kind of start off. This is, this is what happens. We position this month in January to be, um, those transitional kind of clothing to getting into, um, warmer weather, but we're also going to throw in, um, <laughs> throw in the opposite workwear, blazers, new work pants. Like it's just going to kind of come at you. Okay. While I'd love to have like this perfect like workwear launch and um it's just we're just gonna train we're just gonna as it comes into our warehouse we're just gonna bring it to you so we are launching same thing as normal we are launching every 10 days to two weeks um or no i'm um, no sorry every seven days to two weeks more like every seven to ten days two weeks will kind of be rare if there's two weeks between a launch but you guys know that you've been with us um, through the through the fall and the winter so nothing's gonna change beyond that okay let's get started um, I'm so glad to see you all I've seen familiar names that I usually see on here um, okay everything you see today is shoppable at graceandlace.com it's under the new tab so you click on new and everything you're gonna see the girls are back there they're gonna do a try on we just do like this little try on session so you can see the things on them let's start with the twist back pullover okay so um, in Loganberry, this color turned out amazing. I'm normally not like a purple, I'm, I'm normally not like purple fans, but I think that's because there's some purples that I really don't like. And so I'm not, um, it's not like my go-to color, but when I see one, I really like, I really like it. So this one came out exactly how, when we were dipping for color and picking Pantones, um, this one came out exactly the color, that purple that we wanted. Okay. So last year we had kind of the cutout, um, what do we call it? Maybe just a cutout athleisure sweater where the it had kind of a cutout in the front. We kind of flipped this around and twisted it up a little bit and that's what we did. So the material is similar to that, but different. It's non-pilling fabrication. It does have the baby loop terry, really soft baby loop terry on the inside. So it's a good weight. It's not a jersey, like not as light as just like a jersey, like a perfect pocket tee material. Um, it's a little bit warmer than that, but it's not, it's not warm, you know, it's got that loop terry. So nice, soft, kind of underneath interior feel. Uh, does have thumb holes, of course. And then the feature is at the back. So we made this, of course, um, where it sits above your, if you were to wear like a normal bra, it sits above your bra here. If you did, this would be a great feature top if you're into the athleisure look, if you wear that style, if you work out, if you have like strappy back, sports bras or even our strappy perfect fit tank from last year. Um, the crisscrossing looks really cool through the back of this, just like it did on the cutout pullover last year at the front. Okay. So just casual, easy to wear. Now it does run very true to size. I would say this is one of more, our more true to size, um, fits. So I wouldn't size down in this one. If anything, um, if you want a looser, baggier fit, maybe size up if between sizes, but otherwise stay in your normal size. I wear a small in this. Katie wears a small in this. She doesn't size down. She's typically between, or sometimes can be between sizes. So this one runs true to size. Let's bring the girls out in this one. I think 
Morgan's in it. So Michelle is still on maternity leave. You guys know she had her baby in December. It's like maybe six weeks old now, her little daughter. So um, we've got Morgan doing our extra small fits this year. So this is on her. We have a new setup, so come come a little bit closer, we'll see you. <laughs> extra small here. Nice, kind of a wider boat neck design. It does have the thumb holes. You can see she's got her hands through them and then turn around for us. And then here's that back. You know, much um, there's this back feature and this kind of just sits up really nice. So like I said, you guys, if you have like a, uh, even a, um, racer back bra, like a sports bra and you want that to show through and really look nice, kind of cut through coming, cutting through that little open part. So extra small on Morgan. Morgan is like a two for us. Is that what we're seeing from Morgan? Here's Katie. Katie's in the small, yeah. right? Okay. Small. So she does not size down in this one. It's, it's fitted in the bust, kind of fit in the body. It's not an oversized design on this one. And there, oh, perfect. Stay back there. <laughs> Stay back there. Stay back there. Here's what we did. We kind of did that on purpose for that athleisure look. So hair in a pony, hair in a top knot, all those kind of like fun athleisure type look things. That's what I really love. Um, that kind of feature showing through that cutout. So Renee asks, is it the same material as the cutout athleisure top? No, I answered that a little bit earlier. It's similar, but different. It's non-pilling and it's not as uh, gushy. Okay. Okay. So similar, but different. <laughs> it does have the, the cutout pullover last year, like the pink and black, um, ha it was also the baby loop Terry. So, um, soft on the inside, but we went with a heathered, um, heathered and, uh, non pilling fabrication at the front. So it's not as, um, fuzzy and then it, it won't pill up. So maybe not as thick, not as fuzzy, still thicker than just like a t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, but not as like super, um, gushy. Okay. And definitely non pilling. So could it be worn backwards? Great question. Missy, can we wear this one backwards? Don't recommend. We don't recommend to wear it backwards. You can try. I'm sure some of you will. I don't know. Uh, Christy says happy belated birthday, Katie. Katie had a big birthday and she says thanks. She says thanks. Okay. Um, so who's in this one? We have Lexi in the medium in this. So Lexi stays in her normal size. So here's the thing. You can do this with leggings, joggers, loggers, or just do um, a pair of jeans. Just like kind of sit around your, uh, around a race, put a necklace. Lexi, this is why Lexi's good at this stuff, okay? <laughs> put a necklace on it, and then you have a top that doesn't have to necessarily be like an Ashley at leisure type top. And then she just kind of knotted it up, tucked it in. Um, she's in the medium, okay? Give me all the purple, and we miss Michelle. I hope Michelle's watching too. We miss her so, we miss her so, so bad. Um, okay, and then Amanda in the extra large. So again, this is a fitted design, you guys. It's not oversized. If you want an oversized top, you'll have to size up in this. But it's nice and fitted to the bust. Comes down at the waist. The arms are does have the thumb holes, and then there's the back neck feature at the top. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know, Lexi. Yes, Rebecca. Lexi was in the medium in that. Karen says, "Where's the rain jacket, you guys? Maybe if I rush through this, um, I'll try to give you all like the sneak peek." question answer all your questions about what's coming so purple loganberry is the only color on the top let is let's move on to the saturday sweater this is the one i have on this one you guys is for you um who are still in like this cold winter who are in winter okay this is your cozy i feel like naming it the saturday sweater was the perfect name for it because i know it's friday today but i'm probably going to have this um, I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow too. So it is fleece. It is, oh, I almost fell. Um, it is a sweat shirt. Okay. But it's, um, super, super fleeced and cozy on the inside. Like feels really, really good. It's not super thick. Like it's not like gushy. Um, or like, I guess when I say sweatshirt, I don't want you to think like you're like high school hooded pullover. Okay. It's not like that. It's, it's super soft, it's very flexible, feels like it's been washed a million times, so it just feels really, really good on your body. I'm in um, my normal size small. This is the size I'd wear on it. I, I cannot size down to the extra small. It would get too long um, and short. I mean, it would get too, big, too short and too tight probably in the arms for me. So I would stay in your normal size in this. Um, I guess if you want a tighter fit or tighter, I, it doesn't have the loop. I mean, it's it's not tight at all on my arms, but I would, I'd be afraid if you did size down on this that the arms might might get too tight on you. So it's soft, it's cozy, and, and here's my favorite part. 
Okay, we just added this fun little, I don't know if you can even see this on me. Okay, um, we pieced together here this ruffle that runs all the way around. Oh, let me do this, this is gonna help a little bit better. Run on the back side. So it doesn't, it's not like a reverse peplum. It doesn't drop, um, you know, down low on the back. It just adds and kicks out this fun detail, which I think makes the top in general look, um, look really fat, flattering, okay? So from the back and it's got the pleating and then, you know, sits much lower covering. I think you'll see, covers the bottom of the back. So this is how I would wear this. Of course you can wear this. I've got girlfriend jeans on. Yes, those of you who missed girlfriend jeans last year, girlfriend jeans are coming back soon, okay? Um, girlfriend jeans on, this is just casual, you guys. Everyone's wearing the girlfriend, the mom style jeans are super, super on high trend this um, year this season spring so um these this kind of looser leg what makes it more casual and then i just have on like whatever these all-star shoes on okay this is like my saturday look this is running to the kids soccer games dropping them off for errands <laughs> running to the grocery store um where you don't necessarily like if i'm not in my loggers i'm in like something like this so you could um tuck it up if you want to do like a fun tuck with it it's just cozy feels so so good um, on the body and this is how I would wear it so um, I just think it has this like easy look it's kind of grungy it's not burnout material I saw someone ask that um, it has a it kind of has the effect like the tonal effect can you see how it's kind of darker on the underside we did it um, we dyed it this way so you have like these raw edges that look a little bit darker this looks a little bit darker but it's not it is not burnout so those of you who are afraid of burnout or like don't like how burnout can get worse with wearing this material is not that so it's going to stay the same um as you wear it so okay all right let's bring out the girls in this one kaylee is in this one in the extra small we're all orange back there we call it the color i think we called it what texas sunset I think it's perfect for the color. So extra small her. Kaylee is definitely extra small. Zero in our, but she's tall. You're tall, right? Yes. Like five, five, nine. She's five, nine. So extra small on her. You guys can see kind of same. She's sticking with my casual look. She's got the casual shoes on, distressed jeans, and it's just easy, easy to wear like that. Extra small on her. Okay. Katie is in. No, Ashley's, nope, Ashley's in this one. Ashley's Everybody in the small. Always I'm wearing the small. <laughs> Oh, we want you too, Ash. Small on Ash. Corner. She and I are wearing the same size. So small on Ash. Just flattering drops on the back. I just like how we added that little touch of detail, that little ruffle. It just makes it not so plain and just cute. Color is yeah. great. Looks great. Looks great. Feels great. Feels <laughs> really good. Um, is my staff on here hiding all these people? I hope so. What? There's, there's bad people on the oh, thing, yeah. thing, leaving their phone numbers overseas. <laughs> Texas Sunset is the only color. Loganberry is the only color. Here's the thing. We actually, there's a couple, there's several designs this year, several, which is a pain in the butt, happens every year, um, that had major fabrication issues in the bulk production of the fabric. So there's been a couple, even I think, I think the next top we're talking about Snow Day, that was supposed to come in multiple colors and unfortunately they the fabric um i just have to reject fabric when it doesn't feel like how we intend it feel or when it doesn't feel when a solid doesn't feel the same as the stripe things like that so unfortunately there is there are some designs that are weren't intended to be one color but um for one reason or another material got messed up in production and all these other things happen you you would you wouldn't even understand how how much how much of the time things happen okay let me see if i can answer some questions on this how thick or thin is the material um it's similar i want to say it's similar to those of you who have the um like what can we compare it to from the fall like the tw the twist hem okay so like fuzzy warm um maybe it's lighter than the cowl neck remember the cowl neck with the when it, didn't, it was in per, it was in like a purple oh my gosh in a sunset in a adobe color okay it's it's lighter weight than that i would say it's the warmth the warmth of the twist do we call it a twist him it was in green and oatmeal you guys it's like fleecy so i could not remember i can't remember all this stuff so it's warm it's warm and it's cozy okay and it's but it's not like stiff. It's not like a stiff, thick, hooded sweatshirt. OK, 
Okay, so it's got a warm value to it and it is fleecy. You guys can see that. It's just, it's cozy, but it has the drape. See this? Let me see if I can do this. Okay, this is all like cozy, soft, and warm. So I honestly, I think the only way I can probably describe this is it's like the perfect weight for transitioning out of winter. Okay, so some of you are like in 14 degrees. Um, you're going to still need jackets and scarves over this. But those of us that are in 50, like I, like I wore this to work, to work today. Like this is perfect for 50s. Okay. It's, it's cozy and it's soft, but it's not like, I don't feel like I'm wearing a heavy sweater. I really think the best way to describe it is like the, um, the twist hem. Okay. Let's do it. Who else is in this one? Did I forget people? Did I forget everyone? Okay. <laughs> I forget everyone. Um, Lexi is in this one. Medium on her. You can see on her. So great length, flattering draped on the back long in the back, cover the bottom. Okay. I wanted you to be able to wear this with your loggers, with your joggers, with your comfy pants around the house, running errands or whatever. Okay. So really, really just feels good on the body. Okay. Lexi's in medium and then Amanda's in the extra large. Okay. She's like hiding. Oh, back there. We can see, I can see so much around the bed. Extra large on Amanda. So again, you guys just, it's just easy. It's just easy, nice, nice color, and then just that flattering drop down the back. Okay, so um, I would stay in your normal size in this one. I, are you, can, can, Katie can size down. Is that right, Katie? Which one do? You, what size did you like in this? Uh, I like the extra. Small. She likes I the extra small. Either, but I, like the extra small. I can't wear the extra small. It's too tight and too short on on me. And short on me. Like I like the length of this. I don't want to size down because I don't want to. I don't want to go up. I don't want to go any shorter on me. If you're between sizes, you might be able to, or have slim arms. I just think this is a cozy fit and it's not too baggy and it's not, it's not tight. Um, I just feel like the size of me. Okay. All right. Hopefully this is helping. Um, and yep, Ashley, I rock the orange. I totally agree with that. Okay. Now snow day tie front top. All right. I don't know what is much better than taking a material that you already know and love. If you do not know what our, our snow day material is, um, you are totally missing out. So get you some snow day stuff. I would recommend the snow day pullover, the snow day joggers. Um, the snow day material is like heaven. I don't know. I, I don't even know how to ex use the words to explain this. Gushy, soft, fuzzy, cozy on the body feels so 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 good on like literally you pull it on and you don't want to take it off okay so what is better than taking that material and putting it into a great transitional design as we go into spring now I need to explain this one because this is in this is a solving my own problems <laughs> solving my own problems shirt that's probably what I should what, what I should have called it okay so here's the thing I've had four babies and I'm very close to an age that I don't desire. Um, as I'm aging, my tummy skin and fat is not going away. Okay. I don't know if you know, but losing weight just does not lose in my stomach. I lose it like other places, but never in my stomach as much as working out. I do whatever. So I have this extra stuff right here that sits right above my jeans. Okay. Um, that I don't love. I love wearing shaped tops because I think they look so pretty, but then I have like this okay so i designed myself a shirt that allows that that disguises and hides and hides that whole area we did two things to do that one we put a knot here now this knot is it is there it has to be knotted or it has to be tied in some way you cannot wear this without the knot okay i mean you can but people including myself will laugh at you if you try to wear it like this okay then two just like we've done plays on stripes before, you guys, if you remember the Cheyenne tee and other things that we've created, we did a play on the stripes. A lot of times horizontal stripes can make you look wide and I don't like myself to look wide with something sitting across the body. So we, I'm going to get passionate here for a second. Okay. I, we changed this to a vertical, well, kind of a diagonal striping. What this does is it plays a trick on your eyes and it makes you look slimmer than what you actually are. We tried this design originally by keeping the horizontal lines here and it was not like, I was like, oh no, we can't produce that. That's not hiding anything. 
but because this allows you to cinch it to your desired waistline, okay? That's another reason why, why we made the ties tieable to your desire because some of you might wanna cinch it up. Like some of you, your, your smallest point is your waist. I'm actually fairly thick through the waist. Like I've got big hips and I don't have a whole lot of narrow through my waist. So I want to cre create the illusion of more, more narrow through my waist, okay? So someone, I, I got word that someone on the VIP page asked if I'm pregnant. I'm not pregnant. I didn't know how to take that question at first because I'm like, I designed this top to make me not look pregnant, okay? To hide all that stuff. So if you're like me and you're like four years past having babies or if you're a couple of weeks past having babies or if you're like years and years and years and you're just like the flattering effect where, you know, it's drawn in at the waist. A lot of times I design things that are flowy at the right waist to help in my um, hiding -ness. But this one gives you the ability to create shape at your waist and it's so, so flattering on. So let me quit talking because I really want you to see it on the girl. So, um, like I said, you guys, this, it does have to be tied, but what you can do, and I'll mess with it on the girls, is you you can tie it to your desired tension, okay? So if you want, if you want to bring that around and really create shape, if you want it just kind of loose and kind of just draping there for comfort, you can do it. You can put it wherever you want. The other great thing about this design, you guys, is that it feels like you're in your pajamas, you're wearing snow day, but it can be totally dressed up for work. So you can dress this up with a pair of colored pants, with denim, you can wear it dressed up or you can wear it just as equally super casual with a pair of leggings because we made it long enough um, to sit loosely on the hips. There's not a lot of tension. When you're pulling the waist, you're not pulling the hips tighter, okay? So there's not a lot of tension on the hips, which allows it to sit really nicely with leggings or to dress up for work. So I don't know what's better than to wear, to be able to wear a snow day to work. A lot of you can't do that with a snow day pullover because it looks casual with a hoodie. This is your opportunity. And then of course we made it, you've been asking for three quarter sleeve. We're delivering on three quarter sleeve for you for that. I feel like I'm randomly need to stop talking so you can see it um, on the girls. So who's in this one? Katie's in, Katie's in extra smallness. So snow day material is very stretchy because of that. If you're between sizes, you can, you can come out. Okay. <laughs> you can likely size down. So, okay. You, let me let me show you what you can do here. So she just did, if you're not like a huge knot, knot person, you can just send this through once. Can you guys see that? If you, you might have to swipe, swipe the comments away so you can see what I'm doing here, okay? So you can, you can pull this over a little bit more. You can tie it, tie it tight or tie it loose. You can do it in like a normal, like casual knot, okay? Like that. Or she just dropped it over didn't even tie it and dropped it over over once and just let it hang there for like a more casual look. So super, super flattering. Now look, look what your eyes are doing. You're following this diagonal pattern that's really, really pulling in the waist. You guys, I promise you, I promise you, any body type, this really, really draws in the eyes. So the other thing is you can kind of center it a little bit more. Like if you want, if you want to knot it a little bit more center, if you want to put your knot a little bit, it allows you a little bit of playroom um, to figure out where you want to kind of put that and how you want it to look on you. So the other thing is you can make it kind of as tight or as loose as you want. Now it is stretchy and if you're between sizes, you probably can size down for that reason re reason because it's very, very stretchy material, which Katie's done. She's sometimes extra small, sometimes it's small. She's an extra small in this one. Okay, any questions? <laughs> any questions? Or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. Yes, I mean, it's, it's really, you just you just do it and you do it loose or you do it tight or you, you know, don't, don't knot it. It's easy. Yeah. Just, just let it fall. It looks really, really, really good on the body. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can catch up. Snow day. Uh, Lena says, uh, snow day pullover is my favorite. Uh, Katie, you look adorable. I agree. You guys, this really looks flattering on everyone. There's not one person that we put it on here. And trust me, we make people come up from the warehouse. We pull in all the staff and have them wear this kind of stuff. So this is one, this is a design. Sadly, I'm so sad. We made it in two other colors that were just gorgeous and um, they couldn't make the fabrication. They just, this, this gushy soft, what you guys all know and love as snow day, the solid colors were coming out rough and cheap and they, they felt like Walmart, 
material. So I can't, I can't do that to you guys. I can't sell you a product in one that feels like you're going to, you would pick this one and you would put the solid color ones and you would have gotten them and say, what happened? Why does one, why does the stripe one feel really good in the other one? So, um, you guys, oh, okay, wait, good question. Sammy says, does it show back fat? <laughs> okay. It does not. Well, I guess, I guess it depends on how tight you cinch it. If you're going to cinch it super tight, yeah, you might, I've, I've got love handles back here. I don't cinch mine when I do it. You guys can check my stories on later today. I don't cinch mine totally tight. I cinch it, I tie it just about perfect. So, you know, it, all those crossover lines and all that stuff hides right here. Um, but even, even a pretty tight, it lays, it lays foot flat in the back. Okay. Let's bring out some more people. Who else is in this one? Hey. Ashley's in the small in this one, which is, I wear the small in this one as well. So, okay. So just. It, it just looks so good. If you have small bust, if you have big bust, if you have big butts or small butts or big hips, wide hips or narrow hips, I have it all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But she put her tie a little bit farther over the side. You can knot it twice. You can oh, just loop it over you. once. No, no, no. I feel you can. You can do it wherever you want it. It just gives you room. It gives you room to like put it over here, or put it, put it a little bit more center, just wherever you want. So the lengthwise looks really good. Turn around for us. Okay. So it drops low enough to wear with leggings in there. See, no back fat doesn't, doesn't accentuate back fat. <laughs> so Sunny, I have seen you comment so many times. Sunny has been all over the VIP page saying that it looks like a maternity top. I'm not sure where you get that. Maternity tops don't cinch at all in the tummy. If anything, you need room in the tummy. You're cinching more underneath the bust for maternity tops. Maternity tops give you a peplum here to give you room for the belly. Now, if you, if you're newly pregnant, you're going to, you could wear this, but if you're, if you're anything beyond, um, a couple months pregnant, this one, you're, you're tying it at your, um, on a pregnant belly wouldn't work. So sorry, Sunny. I don't agree with you on that one. Um, maternity tops are got to give you room in the waistline for those things. Okay. All right. Um, okay. And she, I don't, okay. All right. She said it's not flattering on Ashley. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not willing to have your, your comments on here. So we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna let her go. <laughs> okay. All right. So here, um, here's Michelle. She's in the extra large. So she has it a little bit looser. She doesn't have it cinched as tight, but still very flattering. Those lines come in at the waistline, look really, really good. Drops nice and slim down the, the, the back. So very flattering. You guys, I, like I said, I created this net design for me. My, my feelings are not offended. If you don't love it, that's fine. I have a feeling it'll be a top selling or top selling item this launch. So um, that's just, I mean, to each your own. I can't design for everyone. I can design for what I wear um, and what I would like to wear myself and how flattering it looks on other people's body. Okay, so let's move. Let me see. What are we out now? Okay, strike switch sweater. This one. Another transitional design as we go from season to season. So lightweight sweaters, a lot of you, um, look, well, a lot of you, we have heard li like actually to transit, like your, your, the weight of the sweater is important as you transition out. This is a lightweight knit. You can kind of see it's a, a gradual knit. You can kind of see through here. Let's see if I can show you. So lightweight, very soft. You guys know I'm not going to create a knit that's not. So, um, it, feels very, very good on the body. Now this design is a little bit more of a just kind of casual, looser fit. This is probably one that you can size down in. Um, if you prefer like a, a knit or a sweater that sits closer to the body. Also knits will grow. So if this is hung, this will um, grow. So with all, with all sweater knits, I don't, I don't um, recommend hanging at all. So I would, I can wear the small, I can wear the small or I can wear the extra small. The small is a looser fit on me, looser in the arms, a little bit more relaxed. The extra small is sits definitely closer to my body. Now, this one also kind of has a design which allows you to create shape at your waist. So when you first put this on, it actually is going to feel pretty big without the cinch because what the cinch does is it takes it up from um, from the back and the waist or from the bust to create a more fit closer to your body, just as like as if you were getting this altered um, out of the out of your body. So if you guys, when you first put this on this package, if it feels really, really big, it's going to feel big, totally out, totally stretched out. Do your cinching. Now, the thing with this is you can cinch it wherever you want to create 
to be more flattering. You can cinch it up here at the bust, which looks really flattering um, to, you know, to create shape at your bust line up here. Okay, you can let it out a little bit here. You can cinch it all the way up. You can let it sit wherever you want to sit. A lot of times, um, you know, people don't want it to sit too high, but really I, I put it where like I would if I were to be tucking it. That's how much cinch um, I allow. So it kind of looks like that bow tuck. Now, um, you can also, if you don't want to cinch it all, you can leave it out and do a front tuck or do a knot or whatever. These are tieables. So you can tie them in a big bow. You can cut them off to be shorter. You can, I mean, whatever, you guys, whatever. And like I said, you can create a little bit of cinching up here for the bust and then just create a little bit at the bottom. So if you just want a little bit of a pick me up, like almost like a little bit of a faux knot or faux tuck, um, you can, that, that is up to you. That's what makes this, this uh, I mean, the, the top is whatever you want it to be, <laughs> wherever you want to put it, wherever you want to cinch it. So cinch it all the way, give yourself that um, look coming all the way up the top, or, you know, I don't know, let it out some places and just cinch it up at the bottom. I'll show you a little bit on my try on stories um, after, but very soft, relaxed arm, nice fit. It is a relaxed fit design, so it may, you may want to size down if you want something a little bit closer. Okay. All right. Um, who do we have in this one? Kaylee's in the extra small. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So here, and I'm going to show you here in a second. Hold on one second. Um, I don't know how to. Uh, okay. Um, when I pull this out on her, I'm going to show you. You can tie in a bow, you can tie in a knot, you can do whatever. But when, I'm gonna pull this out so you can see, when you get this out of the package, it won't be cinched for you. Okay, so it does look like a oversized, okay, oversized tunic type sweater this way. So you can, you could wear this over leggings like this, you could tuck just a portion of it. Sorry, I'm gonna do tuck for you. <laughs> Um, you could tuck some of it and then what I would do is just tie this in a tighter bow up You guys can see it on the model a little bit like that. So if you want to just wear it as a, a regular like tunic um, Feel free to do that or give yourself whatever cinching you want to give yourself. Okay I love it cinched all the way up because I think this is flattering on the bust I think that kind of the same thing now those lines give you like a play on the lines and Then you can tie this off where we're where wherever just tie it in a bow right here. Let that hang drop this out a little bit farther. It's just up, it's really up to you. It lets you customize, it lets you customize the sweater with how you prefer. So I wouldn't leave those hanging, I didn't tie them. But I would tie, I would tie them, you can double knot them. You can, if you think they're too long, just, just cut them off, okay? Just, and tie a little knot in the end of the strings. All up to you, we just tie a big bow and let them fall. I think it's so casual and kind of fits this whole like transition to, this would even look good with shorts, like a kind of a beachy look really really good really flattering okay all right so extra small and Kaylee Ash is in the small in this one I wear the small in this one as well like I said I can wear the extra small and I will show you both sizes in the stories that post later today um, because it's stretchy it's a knit it's stretchy it has room so it just kind of depends it. on if you <clears throat> if you prefer like a relaxed comfortable feel or if you want something that sits a little bit closer to the body so small on her so she did her cinching and this is close to what I do. She just concentrated her cinching down at the bottom. She didn't do what Kaylee did and cinch all the way up to the bust. Just your preference and allows you to put it where you want it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Next on the Amanda's in this and the extra large. Oh, then the stripe. I saw someone asked about the stripes. They are navy. It's navy and ivory. Okay. This looks, na it looks black. Does it look black in there? I feel like it looks black in there. It's not black, it's navy, but it's a really dark, like midnight navy, not like a, a flashy blue, okay? Okay, I mean, I love this. I just I think it's this. so pretty. So same thing. She concentrated her her cinching a little bit more towards the bottom, just as a little pick-me-up at the waist, okay? Oh, that's deep. It She's, look as good to me. She doesn't like it. <laughs> I don't know, I think that looks flattering. You guys don't? You don't like a cinched up? Whatever, it's teach versatile. your own, okay? Whatever, yeah, versatile. So extra extra large on her, that's her normal size that she wears. Um, it is, I. Uh, the girls are wearing tanks or nude bras underneath, okay? They have our nude tanks or nude bras. It is on, it because of how lightweight we made it, it is on the more, here, let me put my hand through. Nude, you can't really, I mean, you can see a little bit through with a nude bra, but if you wear a white bra, um, I don't have a white thing to put through. Um, 
you might you'll see white underneath it because it is lightweight it is not itchy it's very very soft and cozy actually for a knit it's super 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 soft so looks really really good and again it's that whole kind of play on that style allows you the versatility to cinch or to not cinch to tuck or to not tuck to tie or to not tie or and you know pulls up but cinch it where you want it cinch it however you make it look more most flattering on you okay we're almost done you guys are bearing with me i'm going long i, I think i haven't gotten my speed back okay um all right the winter what, are, what is this called winter plaid <laughs> winter plaid vest was a hit this winter <laughs> um and we made it in two very kind of wintry colors i mean one was kind of a both had like reds, heavy reds. I mean, you, you can wear them any time of year, but we really wanted to do one that was neutral. I feel like the other two were kind of more typically styled for winter. And we loved um, our, this is our, similar to our winter weight pocket poncho from like two or three years ago or something like that, okay? But we wanted to give you guys a neutral. And I think that was a really, really good move. We didn't really get feedback that you want a neutral, but I just had this like feeling that you know what, I would love to wear one transitioning because again, to me, vests are great for transitional weather. Not too cold to wear a jacket, not warm enough to not have multiple layers. So to me, this is like the perfect transitional where it's still kind of chilly, but you can wear a long sleeve on it. So long sleeve perfect fits, long sleeve perfect pocket tees, long sleeve thermals, anything under this and the best part, is it's white and black or ivory and black and completely neutral. So if you guys haven't seen this design, um, make sure to check our website. It's super, super soft, very fuzzy, has great draping panels and big pockets. So you can allow it to drape, give yourself some shape and tie the waist back right here or tie the belt around to the front and cross it over a little bit or just let it fall. Very, very versatile, nice um, cowl, you know, kind of just this draped waterfall um, cowl. And then in, of course, ivory and black. Okay, so let's see the girls. Do I have people in this one? Yes, I do have people in this one. Okay, Morgan's in it. In the extra small. Yeah. Okay, so um, I love this there with colored jeans too. Another reason why the neutral is so great. So she's got on our blown out knee. Um, olive colored jeans, which are great for transitional this time of year. And then she's just got a gray, our gray long sleeve perfect fit under it. And this is like your set for an outfit for the transitional weather. So pockets right there. Now she's got it cinched in the back so that she's creating shape in the front. And that's exactly why we did this. Okay. She can also, um, if she wanted to wear it closed, you can, um, you can close this up. Okay, and then tie this and then it's like, you know, like a actual like, you know, fashion vest. So just whatever way you want to wear it. If you, if you want to um, close it up, if you want to lay it flat and then wearing it open allows you to cinch it at the ties in the back. Okay, extra small on her. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, and then who else? I'm Katie. Small. I should just turn, why don't we just turn around? <laughs> He's in small. Every, uh, same fit, same size, same specs, same everything as the ones in the winter. So if you have any of the other colors, it's the same, just, just new color, just new colorway. So she's wearing the same size that she wore in that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she's got it close, like I was, I was kind of showing you. So you can, and you can play on this too. You can allow those, allow those panels just to fall and not here. You can cross them over each other and kind of cinch them up. Again, it's another one that you can just tie and wear however you want you want to see it so okay um all right anything let me see who's next lexi lexi's in the medium okay so lexi's got it wrapped up cozy like she's still chilly and needs kind of that extra warmth on her neckline um and then by wrapping it like that you're again you're creating waste um by having it like that so wear it open wear it normal um no, not much more to say about this one. You guys have already seen it. Just a new color. Uh, Michelle's in this one, though. Let's see her. She's got... They all have... I think everyone's had perfect pocket tees underneath. She's got, like, that is a teal color. I don't know what we call that. Looks really good. Black and white. It's black and white. Wear it with anything. Okay. Extra large on her. And then, are we done? We only have... 
Last but not least is the perfect v-neck tee. You guys have asked for new colors in that um, forever, always. You guys always ask for new ones in that. So standard basic black in the v-neck tee and then two really, really pretty colors. Ooh, this one doesn't look right on the screen. Okay, it's a little dustier. It's looking like a pretty bright purple. What did we call this? Deep wisteria. It's not as not quite as bright as what you're seeing on the screen, okay? And then this is really, really pretty. One of my favorite colors going into spring. This is the boysenberry. Um, really, really pretty berry without being like a bright berry, dusty berry. These two look really, really, oh, this, this looks more accurate to the color. Maybe it just needed something in front of it to be not as bright. So V-neck tees run um, more true to size, okay, this is the best way to say it, more true to size than our um, perfect pocket tees. So I wear, I wear, I can, I wear the extra small in the perfect pocket tees, but I wear a small in the non no pocket version. All three of these are no pockets. Do we have a couple of people in these? Oh, we do. We have a couple of people. Okay, you can just come out. You can come out. Who's in this one? Kaylee's in this one. Extra, extra, no, extra small in Kaylee. Okay, extra. She could probably do extra small, extra, extra small as well. Just if you want more fitted, you wait, you guys should know your size right now in this one. Tuck it, knot it. It is a looser, more fitted in the shoulders and the in the bust than our perfect pocket tees, but still has like loose drape. I would I would probably if she wants the oversized look, but if she wants a little bit more fitted, I think she would do the extra extra small in this. Okay, Katie, where's the? Oh, you guys are all asking. Um, they're all asking what size? Where what? Um, color? Okay. I'll, I'll try to show the color a little bit better. Black is black. Yep. <laughs> She's like in the small. She's in the small, same size yeah. she wears in the V-necks in all the colors. Okay. Okay. Uh, Amanda's in the extra large. Maybe you can see the color a little bit better on Amanda. It's a dusty purple. Really, really pretty dusty purple. I feel like it's showing up a little bit brighter on camera than it actually is. Um, extra large on her. You can see how that fits. Okay. So same. Same fit as all the rest of our, <laughs> all of our V-necks piece. Um, the extra, yeah, I would, um, someone asked about Kaylee sizing. Um, just go with, that's what, if you want, stay in your normal size, okay? If you want a tighter fit, some of you may be able to size down. Definitely if you're um, like smaller busted, smaller chest, smaller, smaller folder, okay? <laughs> all right, um, that is, is that it? Lexi, is that it? Is that all I have to talk about? We do have a pop-up sale going on on the site until the 19th, right? Okay, I think that's right. 20% off all denim, jeggings, and shorts. Make sure you, you click that pop-up. So these will, um, here's some denim that is on the 20% um, off. Those are our flares. These are our gray um, button flies. And then these will be going to full price. Our shorts will be going to full price soon, so if you want to snag um, shorts at a discount, this is probably the last time they'll be discounted because obviously going into spring, they'll be in more of a demand. So hop on. Always check our site for the little pop-up um, flash sales. We kind of have those running um, frequently where we don't advertise them. We just kind of cycle through things, so make sure to um, check out theirs. Okay, I'm going to take a couple questions, and then I'm going to go okay <laughs> uh erica says can you tell us about the raincoat the raincoat you guys saw on me at barb's um barbara corcoran's house last summer um it's coming i think it's coming march maybe early march early march maybe maybe even late february somewhere february or march um and it's fabulous it's it's great you guys kind of saw it then a little bit um it's just a really great Great design, great one, classy, nice raincoat without being, yeah, you know, good shape, good sizing, good fit. Okay, anything else? <laughs> uh, any other questions? What's all, Sean Marie? What's all coming this spring? Um, okay, I don't know. I can't list. My average probably eight to eight to ten things each launch. We have. Tops, fashion tops, casual tops. We have denim. We have full length denim. We have crop denim. We have ankle denim. We have girlfriend denim. We have shorts. We have um, cardigans. We 
I'm <laughs> like trying to run through it all. I can look back on that board back there and that would answer all my questions. Um, we have rain jacket. Um, we have we have we have all we have we have we have so much always so much fashion tops fashion tanks dresses dresses lots of dresses good dressers loggers yes sammy thanks for reminding me pajamas yes thanks uh, who has that belinda said where are the pjs the jammies are coming we we have first ever pajamas first ever real pajamas we have those look at the they're reminding me <laughs> they, they are reminding me what's coming um, how many colorways are the loggers coming in? They are coming in three or four, three or four of kind of our standard winter weight. And then we will also have more summer weight coming closer to summer. As we know, we have some summer weight loggers. We know we have some regular this time of year loggers. Um, girlfriend jeans are coming. Yes, guy, I'm trying to catch them. Girlfriend jeans are coming in a new wash as well. And they are returning in, um, means this wash this distressing um all right you guys are reminding me non-distress there's there are waist shapers coming yes um i'm not confident if they're i, I can't remember offhand if they're distressed or not distressed camo joggers yes there are black camo loggers you guys saw me layered those up those are coming um you guys are reminding me why am I even like who ha, I, yeah you guys are telling me what's coming so um okay lots that's all I have to say lots we will launch every seven to ten days maybe there might be a two week a 14 14 or a week in between that might be kind of rare I think there might be one of those our next launch is um the 28th or the 29th okay so I think we got a little bit is that like a week and a half maybe a week and not this coming Wednesday either the following Wednesday-ish, around midweek, last week. Okay, all right, that's it. I can't give any more away. Um, and in general, I just can't totally remember on the spot like this. Okay, all right, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.